Hi, and welcome to the weekly salmon fishing update for June 1st. On this week's update, we'll cover the seasons and rules information for the existing fisheries, including a closure that's being implemented on the Lower Salmon River. This will affect the area from the Rice Creek Bridge upstream to the Hammer Creek boat ramp. Other than the seasons and rules information, we'll cover information related to dam counts, harvest information from our creel surveys, as well as some hatchery return information. I encourage you to check out the blog that was recently posted by Joe DuPont, our regional fisheries manager up in the Clearwater region. There's a lot of good tips in there about the way fishing has been going on the Clearwater River system as well as in the Lower Salmon. I also want to let you know that we do have a commission meeting scheduled for June 14th to consider seasons for our summer salmon fisheries in the Locksaw River, the Upper Salmon River, and the South Fork Salmon River. Stay tuned to our website and these weekly salmon updates and we'll give you more information as those fisheries approach. Well, that's it for this week's introduction. Let's get to the report. This weekly salmon fishing update contains information for Chinook salmon fisheries in the Main Stem Clearwater River, the Middle Fork Clearwater River, the South Fork Clearwater River, the North Fork Clearwater River, the Lower Salmon River, the Little Salmon River, and the Snake River. Any fisheries not covered in this weekly salmon fishing update are closed to fishing for Chinook salmon. The Main Stem Clearwater River, the South Fork Clearwater River, and the Middle Fork Clearwater River are all open to Chinook salmon fishing seven days per week. Fishing hours are from 4.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific time, and the daily bag limit is four salmon, only one of which may be an adult. The possession limit is 12 salmon, only three of which may be adults. The main stem Clearwater River is open from the railroad bridge at Lewiston upstream to the confluence of the Middle Fork and South Fork Clearwater Rivers. The South Fork Clearwater River is open from the mouth upstream to the confluence of the American and Red Rivers. The Middle Fork Clearwater River is open from the mouth upstream to the confluence of the Selway and Locksaw Rivers. And the North Fork Clearwater River is open to fishing for Chinook salmon four days per week, Thursday through Sunday. Fishing hours are from 4.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific time, and the daily bag limit is four salmon, only one of which may be an adult. The possession limit is 12 salmon, only three of which may be adults. The North Fork Clearwater River is open from the mouth upstream to Dwarshack Dam. The Lower Salmon River has a partial closure that will go into effect at the end of fishing hours on Thursday, June 2nd. This closure will affect the lower portion of the fishery from the Rice Creek Bridge upstream to the Hammer Creek boat ramp. Currently, the Lower Salmon River is open to fishing seven days per week with fishing hours from 5.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. Mountain Time or 4.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific Time. The daily bag limit is four salmon, only two of which may be adults, and the possession limit is 12 salmon, only six may be adults. The Lower Salmon River is currently open from Rice Creek Bridge upstream to the uppermost boat ramp at Vinegar Creek through Thursday, May 2nd. At the end of fishing hours on Thursday, June 2nd, the section from the Rice Creek Bridge upstream to the Hammer Creek boat ramp will close. You can see in the map on the right, the Hammer Creek boat ramp is located just downstream of where White Bird Creek enters the Lower Salmon River. The Little Salmon River is open to Chinook salmon fishing seven days per week. Fishing hours are from 5.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. Mountain Time. The daily bag limit is four salmon, only two of which may be adults, and the possession limit is 12 salmon, only six of which may be adults. The Little Salmon River is open from the mouth upstream to the U.S. Highway 95 bridge near Smoky Boulder Road. Lastly, the Snake River is open to fishing for Chinook salmon seven days per week. Fishing hours are from 5.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. Mountain Time. The daily bag limit is four salmon, only one of which may be an adult, and the possession limit is 12 salmon, only three of which may be adults. The Snake River is open from the Doug Bar boat ramp upstream to Hell's Canyon Dam. Now that we've covered the seasons and rules information for the existing fisheries, I wanted to provide a brief run update with the dam counts. Uh, you can see that we've definitely passed the peak of the return down at Bonneville Dam. We're currently sealing daily counts around 1,500 to 2,000 fish. And the total to date for 2022 as of May 30th was 145,543 adult Chinook. 
Uh, this is over twice what we saw in 2021 and is uh, twice the five-year average as well. At Lower Granite Dam, uh, again, we're past the peak of the return there. We're seeing counts in the around the 1,000 to 1,500 fish per day mark. Um, our total to date in 2022 is 47,948, which again is twice what we saw last year and twice the five-year average. Uh, I expect these counts at both of these locations to continue to drop in the next couple of weeks. Uh, and then we will see a little bit of a bump at Lower Granite Dam as the summer Chinook start coming over um, in the next couple of weeks. Taking a look at our harvest updates for the Clearwater River drainage, uh, fishing was really good for certain periods of time uh, in the lower section of the Clearwater River last week. Uh, we estimated 572 adults were caught in the section from Camas Prairie Railroad Bridge upstream to Cherry Lane. Uh, further upriver from Cherry Lane to Orofino, 102 adults, 118 in the North Fork, 66 from Orofino Bridge up to Kuski, and then 95 adults from Kuski Bridge upstream to the Nez Perce Reservation boundary. That brought our weekly total to 953 and the season total to 2,187 adults. Um, as we are moving through the season here, I wouldn't be uh, too surprised to see changes to some of the sections uh, coming up in the next week or two um, as we continue to accumulate harvest. Uh, seems to be the best fishing when the water is dropping. So if you have the opportunity to get out when the water's not raging, uh, that'd be the time to, to do it. It's been the same story in the lower Salmon River. Uh, we had some periods of really good fishing last week when the water was low, and then when it came up, things really shut down. Uh, but we did have an estimated 480 adults harvested in the section from Rice Creek Bridge up to the Hammer Creek uh, boat ramp. That's the reason for the closure that's going into effect after fishing hours on Thursday, trying to spread that harvest up further into other parts of that river. Um, within the Hammer Creek to Time Zone Bridge section, we had 176 adults harvested, and then from Time Zone Bridge up to the mouth of Shorts Creek, 138 adults, bringing our weekly total to 794 and our season total to 912 in the Lower Salmon. Uh, similar to the Clearwater, I wouldn't expect I wouldn't be surprised to see additional closures uh, with occurring within the next week or two on the Lower Salmon River, uh, especially as the water drops and, and more fish are getting caught. Uh, just a quick update on the Little Salmon River. We had an estimated 35 adults caught last week for a season total of 41. Again, I expect that to, to pick up here in the next week or two as the flows start to drop and more fish start to get into that section of the river. A uh, quick look at hatchery returns. Rapid River Fish Hatchery is the only IDFG facility that's currently trapping Chinook. Uh, high water has precluded the installation of some of our other traps, uh, especially up in the Clearwater Basin. So I'll be able to provide updates for those probably starting next week. But at Rapid River, uh, you can see things are starting to pick up. Um, you are getting about you know 10 to 20 fish per day. Um, you can see the dates here, the traps being checked about every two days. So um, things are picking up. I, again, I expect these counts to really pick up here in the next week or two as more fish are starting to enter the Little Salmon River. That's it for this week's report. Make sure you tune in next week. We'll be taking a quick look at the proposals for the summer Chinook seasons. Um, we'll also be reviewing the same types of information that we did this week with dam counts, harvest reports, and hatchery returns. So if you're heading out this weekend, be safe. Looks like the water's going to be real high in a lot of places. So um, have fun, good luck, and we'll see you next week.